All right, welcome back to Scout Saturday, episode two uh, of all the shenanigans here. Uh, I did get the fuel caps. They're actually pretty nice. Uh, I got two of them, so I could kind of do a false one on the passenger side. Um, and they look good. I think the problem with my first one is you didn't you don't have enough leverage. <coughs> so that is a very tight seal on there. So <coughs> that's good. Anyway, that looks really nice. Uh, well worth the uh, whopping twelve dollars here. So here is the part number if you desire. And uh, yeah, I mean, they're pretty, they were pretty fast on shipping and they look good. So we'll call that a win. And it does have the same back as this one. However, uh, you definitely need that handle there. <laughs> Because <laughs> you can't get it on there without it. So, there's that. And for the for the passenger side, I think I'm just going to cut. Uh, I have one of the original... Uh, crap, what am I trying to think of? Uh, filler necks. And I'm just going to cut the flange part off of it. And then just mock up that cap onto that uh, gas tank there. So I won't have a passenger side gas tank. But it'll look like I have one anyway. Instead of just a gaping hole in the uh, fender. Uh, in the meantime, I also got the uh, body mount kit. Uh, this is from IH Parts America. It's like 90 bucks, uh, and that means uh, one, one step closer to dealing with that floor, and I should have the floor panels today courtesy of FedEx, and hopefully the box isn't completely smashed in like every FedEx box I ever get is, so, you know, cross your fingers for that. Uh, I think the main goal of today is to uh, clean off ye oldy scout here and uh, shove it outside and wash out that transmission. And heck, while I'm there, I might as well wash out the floor too because it's got, you know, the built-in drain holes. And... The other reason for that is that the uh, field rats made their nest in the driver's seat and there was just so much juniper still coming out of that thing. That's still all over the uh, floor there. So I'm going to soak it again with Simple Green. Let it eat on that while I'm clearing off the scout here. And then I guess we're just going to shove her outside and uh, go from there. So let me get to doing that. Uh, also going to redo the covers for those boots. And uh, yeah, all right, let's see what we can do. I found this one cleaning it. I made this a long time ago. But we can cross off some stuff. The fuel pump I rebuilt. Now it doesn't leak anymore. Uh, filler neck. We did that. Defrost heater. That's done. Uh, hmm. uh, I bought a panel for the radio, but it's technically not done because it's not painted. Um... Hmm. We have floor patches coming. I do have body mounts, but they're not done. Uh, 
uh, I do have a tack, but I want to look into something a little nicer. Um, I think that's it. <laughs> that's all we've done. Uh, money on that one. Definitely should get a fire extinguisher for it. Sun visors are way baked. Uh, need to redo those. Seats, got to send those out. And everything else. Eh. You know. I do have uh, brake lines. At least the rubber lines. So there's another debacle we got to get into. Uh, the brakes do work. However, I think the lines are squeezed. So you can stop great, but getting going isn't something you can do. Uh, it will drive forward in low gear, but I have yet to actually drive the thing in high gear because it cannot overcome the the amount of brake force uh, the brakes apply to the wheels. So there's that. We'll keep that around. And uh, we'll keep uh, clearing things off here. And uh, hopefully it'll be easy to just shove it out and go at it with the hose here. Alright, well, somewhat washed off anyway. That is some thick grease. I uh, figured I'd take a look at the gas tank here and that is pretty rough oh yeah that's pretty bad wow look at those paint runs so I'm gonna have to do what I did on the driver's side and uh, replace the bottom and then chase all these holes uh, and then buy the poly tank and then buy a new cover and then use the filler neck that I already bought so just getting that tank in is probably at least another 500 bucks so that's why we're only using one tank right now. All right, well, here they are. Uh, one driver's side floor and one passenger side floor. Uh, I will retract my statements on cheapness. They do look really nicely made. Uh, And well, I didn't have to make them, so there's always a bonus. So I got these from uh, Auto Body Panels, made in USA, so I can't complain too much about that. Uh, but now the bigger, bigger issue is now I got this big, nice, brand new floor, and I got. A really rusty gross floor and then uh, the appeal is how much do I want to remove from the floor so uh, this seat mount doesn't look like it's spot welded but it could be. If it is spot welded, then I guess I better start drilling it. But it there's some spot weld there. I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out. I need to do a bit more inspecting of the floor because I mean we already have a brand new one might as well use as much as we can uh, I guess we'll find out 
that means we get to battle with the uh, body mount of doom up there so uh, it is lunchtime so we're gonna have something to eat and then we'll get back on this here all right well I think our best option is to replace the entire panel uh, so we're starting to take apart the bolts and it can't be a bolt if it ain't got a head on it so uh, I got a brake line coming right through so we're gonna have to be careful and I think my other best option will be break it up into pieces pull it out we can un disassemble the seat bracket from the carcass and see what condition that's in and then uh, surgically remove it and make it not look like nastiness so that is what we are going to try to do here so I gotta undo that fuel uh, switch over I don't have any fuel in the fuel lines so that's a that's a plus two uh, brake lines will have to be a little careful. I mean, if I do nick them, then oh well. But we're going to try our best. So let's see how this goes. All right, well, surprisingly, uh, it unscrewed uh, from where its home was. And it just proves more that... Uh, it was not structurally holding anything because when I was loosening it and pulling down it actually just sunk straight into the cross member there and then this lovely hole right here is where a cross member was uh, so that's no longer in existence uh, the new panel does have two new cross members right where these go uh, so that's going to be interesting. Hopefully there's something left of that one. And we'll go from there. Took out the gas pedal. Uh, started grinding right here. Uh, my cutoff wheel is very sad. And structurally it sounds pretty solid back here. Uh, so I'm still still on the fence with replacing the whole thing uh, but I guess we'll see as we go problem is I don't want to bite off too much than I can chew I like slow chewing uh, so I might go to Harbor Freight and get one of those air pneumatic uh, snips uh, because using these grinding discs, my golly, it is loud. It is stupid loud and dirty. And you have to wear a shield because grinder flakes go everywhere. So, uh, we shall see how we do here. Uh, worst case, we still kind of angle cut and replace that. I did buy a new... Uh, kick panels here I don't know why they cut a giant hole right here uh, there's a perfectly good vent right there does the exact same thing but hey we need to blowtorch a freaking hole in the side there and it looks like they almost did the same thing to the other side so I have no idea why they did that but that is another debacle because then you have to think like well do I want to take that fender off and clean out that air channel and make that all look nice and then the snowball effect happens so uh, we're gonna go slow and methodical and see where it takes us all right all right well there's that giant hole uh, so there's that. Uh, I'm taking off the fender because there's a bunch of dirt and nastiness. And there's the air tunnel there that needs to get cleaned out. 
But public service announcement. Uh, check your fenders to make sure there's no visitors that are not welcome. So I almost got all the bolts out of the fender. Uh, but that concludes this week's episode of Scout Saturdays. So uh, thank you all for watching and tune in next time. We'll see you. We'll see you then.